I just wanted to record a quick thing on the Destiny 2 beta. Uh, this is the PC version. Uh, I guess anything interesting, I have a uh, GTX 980. Um, what's the processor? i7, what is it, 6700K? Anyway, I don't want to search for Guardians. I'm not even going to play this whole thing, I'm just going to quit out. Um, because I've played this one inverted spire nonsense uh, twice before. And it's it's fine, right? Stop evaluating these morons, please. Now, one thing to note, I do have an FPS uh, counter in the top right. That's from the game itself. It stays at a mostly solid 60, high 50s. It does seem like if it gets into the 40s, it just jots you down to a solid 30. Um, which is fine. The game looks stunning on PC. I don't like these other stupid ass ships. And it run it runs very well, it looks fantastic, whatever. I just don't want to do the same missions over and over, and I'm gonna piss off like all my teammates by not really participating very well. But I love I like that's the thing man. I love the environments and everything they do. But having to play this, especially in the beta, I understand why, but having to play this with other people is stupid. Because look at this. Where did they go? Oh, they just ran ahead, didn't fight anything, just ran past all the enemies, the because what's the goal? Oh, the goal is to get the My loot at the very the end. The now, I'm sure there's, there's levels. And, like, these people just left me here. Like, they just left. And I've played this before. Um, huh. where, where are they? Even their scientists are pleased. Oh god. Ah! I'm not good. Oh, they didn't leave me behind. Okay. But I think the shooting's really cool. This is how I would like Borderlands to play. But I want it to be the single player game that Borderlands is, and not this. Not that this is bad. It certainly plays very well. And here's another thing too, if you fall and die here, for some reason, you have to respawn, it deals with your whole team. Why is there platforming? It's really fucking stupid. I'm not a fan of that at all. I like these. Where's everyone else? See, there was the FPS dip. Yes, Vex milk. But I'm pretty satisfied with this performance. This is max settings. The recording probably betrays some of that with the compression. Is everyone coming? This is why I just want to play the goddamn game. Because I have Fruit Loops over there. And I'm real bad here. You'll, you'll notice I couldn't get a headshot to save my life. Oh! Oh, did it crash? Oh, good. Well, I said it was gonna be short. Oh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> Must have been lag. I haven't been able to find a weapon I like. There's also an issue, and we'll, we'll, I think I'll see it here. When you go to pause and look at your inventory, I'm, first of all, I'm shocked they kept the just stunningly garbage equipment screen you like what is is this what i have equipped i don't know everything looks the same what the fuck is impact you're not giving me numbers like okay this this has this has a range of a half full bar and this has a range of a full bar is it weird i look at well that why don't you tell me wow what that, that means in numbers ghost. because a half full bar and a full bar don't mean anything okay news flash Oh, 
barrier. This planet loves barriers. Zavala, I think they're trying to contain the Red Legion. I also, the, the main, like, tutorial story mission that you have to do is pretty cool. I do like that. It's just, I mean, it's the same shooting. Bungie makes fucking amazing shooters. And they feel great. That's fine. But the fact that your guardian guy doesn't say anything is the stupidest, most obnoxious garbage. He stands around. He or she, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter because they don't say anything. Weapons trash. I haven't found a sub weapon I like at all yet. Like a blow up. There was a train up out there that just it's gone now. Oh, your your main guardian guy doesn't talk in the cutscenes. So you're left with this like this evil guy kicking you off a ship and he's all I'm evil and I'll destroy the world and your guys just look at him like oh no but he doesn't say anything it's like the fucking Lego movie or what or Lego video games bizarre hella bizarre I do like doing stuff like that. oh Bullshit. Everyone looks the same in this beta, so I don't know. Oh boy. I don't know if, uh... Why, exactly? <laughs> if they're the same class as me, <laughs> or not. I don't know the differences between the classes, like, this is the problem that I played Destiny what, four years ago when it first came out at that beta. I, I think the most impressive thing is how stunning it looks, especially that single player whatever tutorial thing that was the beginning of the game. That was just amazing. The rain dripping down everywhere. Oh my god, it was fantastic. It looked just amazing. Now what's this block over here? I'm not helping. I like the enemies dropping in on those weird balls. I'm a fan of the weird balls. Savala. Looks like the drills are manned by a full battalion of Cabal. I don't want... I don't know what orbs of light are. Oh, shit. Who have slain gods in the heart of the Black God. Shit. Let's just go, guys. That's the thing. I... I'm already that guy. I'm already, like, just push on. It doesn't matter. You have to fight these guys. Just fucking go. But... Isn't the whole point of this game... Or the, one of the complaints from last time that... You have to just do everything over and over. I didn't do anything, did it? And I'd rather, I don't know. As much as I love Diablo and those type of games, these levels are too long and too not interconnected. There's not enough loot generated in the game itself. Right? Like, I'm not getting loot until the end. If there was more loot, like, a la Borderlands, then we can... I sound super negative, but it's fun. It's really fun. They made a really good game. If you want Destiny, you got it. And this is better than it was before. 
by a long shot. This is the best Destiny's ever been. I'm assuming. I haven't played it, you know, post launch. Ha ha. No Taylor draw off of the off of the Ireland thing. No, so the this ends in a giant battle where you're trying to kill this one guy and he's doing some oh garbage nonsense. And you just have to fight him for what seems like an hour. And it's fine, but it's just overly long. This part, I feel like fighting all these grunts and whatever is much more interesting than fighting... Uh, fighting the end boss monster man. What is Swift Strike counting down? I think they want their drill back. Oh. I'm stuck at the goddamn wall. I don't remember my grenade doing that, so I must have changed something and didn't realize it. What's happening? No. But yeah, you can see right here it's gone down to a. It just locked it at 30. There's enough going on that I don't really care. Oh. I hope this is safe. 18 seconds. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Make a good team, me and these random two morons. This is almost over, actually. Ow! Why would you have that hurt me when I fall? I love all the particle effects. That's next to Particles. And light shafts and snipers. Let's just leave. Oh yeah, the drill part. The drill part is cool. But again, why is there all this platforming where you can die for no reason and then your teammates are just left without you? Not because your battle ability is bad, but because you thought there'd be floor underneath you and there's no floor. I don't know what or the light do. Or how you get them? Are you sure about this? They're just on the ground. Like, do you do something with them? All right, bros. Oh Jesus! <gasps> this is the. I agree fine, with this guy. This oh Jesus! Where the fuck am I going? Ah! I got booted off the island. This is not good. I'm gonna try to run away now. I fell. Just go, guys. Just go. Just go. Just go. It's right here. Oh, Zavala. Zavala. Yes. I never mind. You would. Thankfully, I don't hear them chattering. I'm sure it'd be complaints about how I screwed it all up. But the drill part is pretty cool. Then again, the drill's an instant kill. You got enemies fighting you. It, the game can't decide if it wants you to do platforming challenges or combat challenges. So it just says, let's do them both at the same time. 
in a weird way that makes no goddamn sense. And now you're gonna die from one or the other. Hope you brought a teammate with you to revive you. I gotta switch to the other weapon. I am playing with a controller. That should be painfully obvious at this point. This must be what the cabal were looking for. No, really? What gave it away? So yeah, I, I guess I'll oh, play the dear. whole thing. I mean, it's not that long. He's warping. We're doing good. By saving my super weapon for this, we were able to blast through wave one. Why does that art bay? He's immune for a brief time. So I think this is cool. The adaptation of like a raid boss or whatever into this is pretty nifty. Oh, this garbage. Energy change. Watch out. Where you uh. I mean, it just becomes, it's just trying to kill you, which I understand. I understand it's trying to kill me. It's just annoying. Because there's so many enemies here. I don't know. I like how I'm, I'm complaining the entire time while also just enjoying it. Like, this is really fun. I'm not gonna buy this. This is stupid. But I'm enjoying myself quite a bit. And it does this nonsense where here's 500 enemies. And I have to fight a fucking boss who's lighting the floor on fire. Oh, no. Frando's dead. Oh, shit. We got fucked. I'm covering you guys. I'm covering you guys. I'm trying. I'm trying real hard. Okay, this is the last. This is the last section. Is behind me? Yes. I will say this. I was playing it earlier with the surround sound. I have to turn it off when I record. But. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> oh, it sounds good. I wonder if he's weaker to... But all my other weapons are hot trash. And I feel like none of these weapons have the halo... Oh shit, I got the needler or whatever. It, there definitely is something taken away from this game, given that you're not picking up enemy weapons and, you know, changing it out. And obviously that's because of the loot, but... Like, part of the fun of Halo, or of even, like, Titanfall, or Call of Duty, or whatever, is just picking up an enemy weapon that you're like, oh, what's this? Oh, cool, I'm gonna use that. And going with it. I would rather damage be something that's standardized when I get to pick the weapon. You know what I mean? Let's change the system. Instead of it being about loot, it's about upgrading your damage your ability. Head. So this guy, he's on dead. Win, pretty soon. I don't want to fuck it up. Oh, I should. Boom. 
I forgot I had my ultimate super slash. So that's it. What is it? That Pillar of Light? Modular mind is down. I got this nonsense. Alright, so then you gotta look in here and you have to see what squares around you are being all squarey. Okay, so I got some greaves. What so I don't know, improved the resilience. Can take a punch, sure. But then I can I can look smart. at the details and they got these toggleable things. Open the planet and that which I didn't even realize was a thing. Something's talking to me, but I think it's Golden just Age game. computer core and that's all she came up with? Compare. I said that. If you'd like my insight, I'm I think uh action report complete with 433 Someone's shooting me. Notes. It's them. I win. Whatever, guy. How good did I do? One orb. I created one orb. Look at my, look at my assists off the charts. Super kills one, cause I'm the best. Well, that's the Destiny 2 beta, the inverted spire, not the squiggly, crafty spire. It's it's fun. I, I actually really enjoyed this more. This feels to me though. I want to see how it launches, I want to see how the reviews are, and thankfully, it's coming out on console, the garbage platform first, and I'll get to see how good it is, what's all in it, and then decide if I want it later, perhaps in November, for $40 on PC. God's platform. The platform for winners. The platform for the best of the best. The best.